Alright, welcome back to Resource Slimes Devlog number 8 and let's begin. I'm continuing the quest for better integration, so I started off by trying to have the items that were saved in Resource Slimes to display properly in the One Probe display. For that I used the One Probe API to make a custom iProbe info entity provider and you won't believe it, but it worked first try. All right, and now let's see. It shows the item stack! <laughs> it shows the item stack! What the frick? Look at this! Look at it! It shows the item stack! It doesn't show the number, but it shows the item stack. <laughs> it shows the number! Holy sh- <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! It works! I don't even know what to say, man. That's crazy. Choose outcome. Item stack will show. With high confidence and that working, I was in such a great mood, I wanted to get a JI showing the recipes for my block entities as well. And after some misalignment, I pretty much got the recipes for the gem cutting, gem infusing, and the extra cleaning station to display properly in JI. While I was also thinking about a custom display for the items from the different slimes, for the moment I decided against implementing that and rather looked at a JEED compatibility. However, amazingly, user Lewisin13 helped with that by making a pull request and adding it before I even had the chance to try. So thank you very much for your help, Lewisin13. It is incredibly appreciated. Furthermore, I also set up a crowd and project for translating resource slimes into all sorts of different languages. So if you know any of these languages or others, you can contribute translating the mod as well. Now we've already translated the mod into a whole host of different languages and there might be more to come, but we'll see. Last but certainly not least, I also started to add some recipes to get the actual proper items out of the extract resources, which is another step in the right direction for actually completing resource lines. And next time we'll most likely take a look at the Forge registry changes as well as an update to 119. But that concludes this devlog right here. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you all next time. So yeah.